Hi, my name is Brenna and I'm with the Winters Bellbrook Library and I'm going to be talking about the November Taste the World and it's getting colder outside so it is now pumpkin spice season. So we're going to be talking about pumpkin spice, its origins, and how to make your own blend. And pumpkin spice is everywhere and it's not always what you're going to find in your Starbucks lattes. It might have pumpkin, it might not have pumpkin. Actually, pumpkin is very difficult to bake with. So a lot of times people end up using pumpkin pie spice. Now, this is your typical pumpkin pie spice. You can, I got this from Kroger. Um, it has cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and cloves. So we have included in your kit, cloves, nutmeg, ginger, and cinnamon. Okay, so first of all, you're going to prepare your pumpkin spice mix. So as per the recipe in the kits, um, it's gonna be two teaspoons ground cinnamon, one teaspoon ground ginger, a half teaspoon of ground cloves, and one fourth teaspoon ground nutmeg. Um, your finished product will look a little bit like this. Um, just for comparison, this is the pumpkin spice that I got from Kroger. So um, you can, you know, if you have like a little, a smaller jar to use, you certainly can. I did not have a smaller jar, so I just used kind of a Rubbermaid container, put all of my ingredients in and kind of blended it. There was a little bit uh, that was still, uh, the ginger was kind of a little bit uh, rough in spots, so I kind of flattened that out. Um, and there you have your, your pumpkin spice. We're going to be making these snickerdoodle-like cookies um, using the pumpkin spice blend instead of the traditional cinnamon sugar blend. All right, stay tuned. All right, then you're going to mix all your your uh, wet ingredients, including your pumpkin spice, cream of tartar, salt, and baking soda. Um, you're gonna mix all those together and it's gonna look something like this. Yummy pumpkin goodness. Um, and then we're gonna add our dry ingredients. So you're gonna use two cups of flour. Um, I like to use one cup at a time, kind of slower, um, mix all the ingredients together. I'll come back when it's all mixed together. All right, so we have our dough mixed together and I went ahead and I made the mixture that we will roll our dough in. Um, this, you know, in a traditional snickerdoodle recipe, you'll have cinnamon and sugar. We went ahead and we used our pumpkin sp spice mix that we made and mixed it with sugar. Um, we used two teaspoons of the pumpkin pie spice and one third cup of sugar. Um, and we're gonna roll those in there. So I will show you what that's gonna look like. Right, so I'll kind of show you how to kind of roll it in there. So you're gonna wanna try to get, you know, about two tablespoons of dough and you're gonna set it in your mixture and you're just gonna kind of roll it until it's nicely coated. And you can make sure, you know, that you got nice, a nice coated dough ball and then you're gonna transfer it over to your pan. Now I did um, go ahead and spray this down. Um, and I also have, I got these, they're supposed to be nice and crisp on the bottom. So we'll, we'll see about that. This one, um, I wasn't sure about the size. We'll see how that one turns out as well. You can kind of experiment with, with the sizes to see, but I'll let you know when it's ready to go in the oven. All right, so you're going to preheat your oven for 350 and then these bad boys are going to go in. You'll put them in for about 9 to 11 minutes, depending on how, you know, how much you like them. A little bit crisp. Um, hopefully these will be kind of nice and crispy on the bottom while still soft on top. I'll let you know how they turn out. I hope you enjoy our recipes. Um, please uh, feel free to share with us on Facebook. We would love to see everything that you guys end up doing. All right, take care and have a happy fall.